there. He's he's there. He's waiting for me. He's gonna tickle my bum. I can see his little wiener shadow. Look at that. That is so sketch. So how do I get how do I avoid this? <laughs> Welcome everyone to Fears to Fathom, Home Alone. We're jumping in, we're gonna start off with Home Alone. And uh, throughout the next week or so, we're going to go through and play each of these Fears to Fathom uh, series games. Episode 1, Home Alone. I hope this is good. July 12th. I haven't actually played through these. Uh, I think I've played part of one of them once a few years ago, but um, I didn't really get into it. I don't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. It was the middle of summer. My parents had left for the weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up just about any time of the day, though I did plan on fixing that. <sighs> Big nap time. The alarm's going off. How do I get up? What is going on? Ah, okay, okay, I'm up, I'm up. I woke up at around 8 after a nap that evening. Let's get up. Ooh, a big sleepy. You ever do that? Just like, wake up, go to bed at like random as times. Just feel like every day was morphing into the next. Usually happens when you had like heaps of time off school or uni. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Got a little book here. Can we have a look at it? Oh, we can just sit at our desk. That's kind of cool. Hmm. I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. So we should probably get up and go make dinner. <laughs> nice little neighborhood. Some cool graphics. I like the uh, the sunset and sky. It looks really cool. Did I just see a shadow of movement? It's a bit strange. Escape to read messages. Uh, Dad and I may be back Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid, Mum? I'm 14. <laughs> I think I'm going to take a little nap. Probably going to order some pizza. Yes. No need to order anything. I already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Thanks, Mama. Call me Johnny Bravo. What else we got? Um. How's Cam? Yeah, crap, I forgot I was going to do that night. Lot same. My parents are out for the night. Want to come over? We can play Mario Kart 2. I'll let you know. Call Josh too. I can't promise, dude. I may have plans with Nat. <laughs> Cheers, Mason. Well, forget them. Let's go downstairs, play some Mario Kart, have some lasagna. That's all we ever needed. See the crouch. Oh. Okay. Crouch, check outside the window, pretty cool. Now, where this is a big stocked fridge, I like it. Is this the lasagna? There it is, the food was cold. So we should chuck it in the oven. Hey, there we go. Let's shut the fridge. Nice. Like I said, I'm gonna play through That is the world's loudest oven. Play through each of these Fears to Fathom games. And uh, hopefully have a good time. Oh, that's cooking. Look at this yard. This is neat. Oh, that was the dinging. Let's go back in in a moment. Just want to have a look at the front yard here. It's about as fast as I can move. Very neat. Oh, I'm stuck here. Nice neighborhood. It's about 8 p.m., I think. Is that an Audi? Nice. Shame I'm 14, I can't go joyriding yet. We won't be able to reach the uh, the pedals. Let's get that lasagna out, eh? G to throw? Why do I want to throw it? <laughs> Chuck it up on there. I liked watching TV while I ate. Of course. Like every uh, man of culture. Chuck some TV on. Alright, let's... um. Toss that there. Oh. Jeez. It's just, yeah, pop, pop it there. Pop it there. Let's turn on the TV. Love this channel. Yes, my favourite show. Boom. 
And let's sit down. Nom 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 nom. Mm. Whoa, this movie's a bit spooky. Om nom nom. Can you actually eat an entire lasagna like this to yourself? I feel like that's like a solid effort. I was already feeling very tired. Alright, let's get back up. Turn off the telly. Don't know what happened to old mate there. Maybe he got hit by the car. Mason! Shooting me messages again. Let's have a look. Chuck that on there. Uh, cool, Mom. We're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up. But you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. Alright, well, I guess it's just us. There's the door. Nothing weird going on. Cool. Can we lock it? Is that an option? No, not really. Okay, whatever. Let's head up to Beddington. I think that was the, uh... Sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. No, don't worry about it, mate. You just keep letting me down. That's cool. I think we were heading back to bed. I think that was part of the story. I remember I had homework to do before going to bed again. Of course. Classic homework issues. Let's smash that out. Hey, <laughs> Like if you hate homework, right? 12.38 a.m. I get done with the homework for the, for the day in about a few hours. It's bloody midnight. It's terrible. Okay, no weird uh, things going on out there. Mum, text. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Miss Paula this time. Classic Miss Paula. Bedtime. 1.16 a.m. I got up to get some water. Ugh, let's hop up. There we go. Figured out how to get up again. <laughs> I was having a bit of a break out there. <sighs> nice neighborhood night. Neighbors at home. They're doing their thing. It's all good fun. Alright, I forgot uh, what message popped up, what we were supposed to be doing, but that's fine. Let's have a look in this room. Mum and Dad's room. Classic. Let's head downstairs, shall we? Oh, strange. I think that's the noise it makes every time I hit the, uh, hit the couch. Hit the, hit the blinds, that is. It's very strange. I'm not going to go out. Is the TV on? It is, that's weird. Debug mode, no signal. Just turn that on. Where's a remote at? I mean, I could just sit here and watch it. That's pretty exciting. Pretty cool. But no, that's not what we want to do. Hmm. Should I draw the cur curtains, maybe? Is that an option? Hmm. It's like a lot of noises happening, but I don't know if any of them are related to what's going on. Anyone out there? Hey, we've just finished. Shut up, Mom. You're not cool anymore. I always closed my door before going to bed, of course. Now, we may have run into a bit of a predicament back there, so we've now done everything we did. We are back. We just finished our homework, and we are going to go to bed, be rudely awoken to get some water. And, uh, we shall see what happens. It is very quiet and very dark. And the top, the clock, not the talk is clicking, the clock is ticking. 
Eh? Now. I reckon. We turn open that door. There's something sketchy happening there, there right? Let's grab water. Have some drank. And let's be extra vigilant about what we do. Beautiful. Bit of H2O, I never heard anyone, right? Is there any dodgy characters out the front? Is that the door just opening? I'll turn that off. I really don't like that, hey? So, we, we know, like, if we open that door, we're done for, right? So let's not do that. Let's head back upstairs to bed. Smash down a drink. Feeling good, feeling hydrated. There's nothing else to worry about. Why stress? Why stress? Let's go to bed. Mum, attachment, one image. Miles, who's that at the door? Oh dear god, are you there? Wait, why is my mum across the street? I thought she was on vacation. Hold on, let's go back here. I'll be back on Monday. Oh, maybe someone else sent her the photo. There's someone at our door. Click to hide. Quick, let's hide. Interesting. Well, no doubt there is someone at the door. The question is... What do I do next? I can't tell if... I can't tell if someone's coming or not. No, I think we're good. I think crouching is key here. Maybe. Anyways. Oh dear. She's sending us more texts. Paul sent me. He says he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Okay. Well, let's start with this door. So if I click it. Fuck you. That's not locking it, is it? How do I lock the doors? Who put this damn lasagna dish on the floor? Well... Mom, look. I'm not gonna lie. I can't lock the door. I don't want to click that, because it's gonna open it. Ooh! Ooh! As I tried peeking through the blinds, it looked straight at me. You sick fuck. I felt my heart skip a beat. I also unlocked a uh, achievement. That's pretty exciting. Okay, so now what do I do? Can I lock the back door? Now? No, no, no. Still can't lock the back door. He's still there though? Nah, no, he's taken off. I looked back and he was gone. So what do you guys suggest? Like, what do I do here? Maybe we should look through the other blinds. I reckon that's the way to go. But the key, the, the, the key here is to definitely not uh, open any doors. I'm going to make sure of that. Okay, well, I guess I'm going back to bed. Like, I honestly have no clue what what I should be doing here. I hope he's not waiting in my room for me. I'm very quiet. I don't think hiding is the key here. I think going back to bed was a good idea. Maybe... Okay, hiding time. <laughs> He smashed the glass. Okay, well, someone's at the door, so we better go answer it. 
I can't believe Mrs. Paula is is just taking photos and I think someone's in the house. It's Paula at the door. Yeah, bruh, but I think I'm in trouble. Mother, there's someone in here trying to kill me. Alright, you know what? We're going for it. Yeah, okay, Paula, settle down. Oh, you son of a bitch. He's there. He's, he's there. He's waiting for me. He's going to tickle my bum. I can see his little wiener shadow. Look at that. That is so sketch. So how do I get, how do I avoid this? <laughs> Fuck you, Mrs. Paula. You got me killed. Quick. He was there. He was there. Sorry, I was just re-recording. He was wait he was watching early on. There was a dog barking at him. <clears throat> I just uh you know, started the next playthrough to try and get, you know, see if there's any other ending. And, uh, he was watching. Dude was straight there in the driveway. Very creepy. Old mate is in there. Which I'm terrified about. Now the question is... Well, everything's okay if we shut the door. I'll need to worry about a thing. Unfortunately, we don't have a phone. Hello? Please? Help me! What a useless device. We can hide. Here comes the cops. Or we just hide and wait. I think we just hide. Is everything okay? Oh, this is the third ending! We did it! Yes! A game by Rail. 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 Uh, Ray number two, even. Let's get up. Cops are here. Do you reckon they'll get him? Has he been caught? Bloody hope so. Oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> it was just an abrupt ending. Look, folks, that's all three endings, uh, I believe. If there is any others, then you'll see them. But um, as far as I'm concerned, that's it. If you liked it, do the thing. Do the little Italy. And I'll uh, see you later. Ugh.